everyone. So welcome back to yet another very important national health program, which is National Family Planning Welfare Program. So we'll be talking about some new initiatives and what is being done under this program. Okay. So first thing, India was the first country to start National Family Planning Control Program. Remember that. Okay. India was the first country. India was first country to start family planning program. Okay, India was the first country. It started in 1951-52, following which many policies and extensions were made. Also, we have done blindness control program. So, there also India was the first country to start. We shifted from clinical approach to extension of education approach. The health infrastructure of PHC, CHC village level is being integrated into a single platform including services from NRHM, UP, uh, UIP, everything like family planning has also become an integral component of national health mission. This is the family planning logo. Please look at this. This is an inverted triangle. Okay. This is a family planning logo okay next organizational setup oh one more point that now the program is known as national family welfare program okay it is known as national family welfare program which was adopted in the concept in 1977 it has now become a voluntary approach voluntary approach means family planning is not compulsory for everyone we will offer it to the people and it's completely their choice whether they want it or not so now the name has shifted to national family welfare program in 1977 it took a voluntary approach okay so organizational setup at central level also we have a setup where there is secretary, advisors at state level. So at central level, we have central health and family bureau. Okay, there's a central health and family bureau. At state level, we have state health and family bureau. Okay. Similarly, at district level, we have district health and family bureau. So there is a lot of things happening under this. Okay. So, under this, one of the most important thing is that urban family welfare centers have been set up. Like there is a type 1 urban family welfare center which is serving a population of 10 to 10,000 to 20, this is 10,000 to 25,000 population where two paramedical staff will be posted. From 25,000 to 50,000 population, two to four paramedical staff are posted. Type 3 is more than 50,000 population, 6 staff with a medical officer. Okay? So, medical officer is present in a type 3 urban family welfare center. There are also urban health posts. Okay, There, are, there is one urban family welfare center, type 3, remember, has a, a medical officer. Type A urban health post is for less than 5,000 population. Again, paramedical staff and attached to a hospital. Type B health post is from 5,000 to 10,000 population, paramedical and attached to hospital. Type C again 10,000 to 25,000 uh, population, paramedical staff attached to hospital. And last but not the least is type D where we have 25,000 to 50,000 population, medical officer, paramedical workers and attach this thing. So if you see the name urban health post, don't get confused. It's also offering family planning services. At village level to promote family planning, who all are working to promote awareness about family planning. We have ASHA workers, trained DICE. Okay, DICE say now better term is birth attendants. And also we have village health guides who are working. Now, there is a theme of National Family Welfare Program, which is very, very important. This can come as an MCQ. This is National Family Welfare Program. Okay. What is the theme of this? Son or daughter, two will do. Okay. Either will do. Okay. So, like, 
टू चाइल्ड पॉलिसी इंडिया बिलीव इन टू चाइल्ड नॉम नॉट वन चाइल्ड नॉम ओके एंड वेदर इट सन और डॉटर एनीथिंग विल डू सेकेंड चाइल्ड आफ्टर थ्री इयर्स एंश्योर यूनिवर्सल इम्यूनाइजेशन एंड कम्युनिटी नीड्स असेसमेंट अप्रोच लाइक वॉट द कम्युनिटी नीड्स गो एंड गिव दैम दैट not just without finding out doing a community diagnosis don't go and deliver all the services to them so two child norm is what india believes in and key targets of the program national family welfare is to achieve a couple protection rate of more than 60% it is a sensitive feel indicator and an outcome assessment tool also tfr we have already discussed this in the chapter of fertility indicator should be less than 2.1 and nrr is one which implies which is which indicates final impact of the program we have achieved the two child norm and currently india presently has achieved according to nfhs 5 has achieved a tfr of 2 okay and a couple protection rate of 66.7% but this has happened for the first time so it has to be sustained okay so the theme and the targets of the program you know we have also shifted earlier we used to have a cafeteria approach with a basket of choices contraceptives like female sterilization male uh, intra uh, male sterilization intra uterine devices ocps everything was offered to the couple and condoms but now cafeteria approach has shifted to gather approach this has also been discussed in the chapter of health communication okay so we now have what is known as a gather approach for contraceptive counseling so g stands for greet the client in a friendly and helpful manner a ask the client about their needs t tell the client about different methods h help the client to make her own decision then whatever she decides explain to them and return visit and follow up so cafeteria approach for contraceptive counseling has now shifted to gather approach okay there is apart from the program there was a national population policy also this was uh, drafted and prepared in 1977 all right and uh, it 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 emphasized on the need for small family norm theek hai important features was to increase the age of marriage from 15 to 18 years for girls and boys ka to 18 to 21 years ठीक है फ्रीज द पॉपुलेशन फिगर्स एट 1971 अंटिल 2001 मेक सम पोर्शन ऑफ सेंट्रल असिस्टेंट प्रोवाइडेड नाउ आई वांट टू टेल यू ओवर हियर वन पॉइंट द ईयर 1925 गाइस रिमेंबर वाज कंसीडर्ड ईयर ऑफ ग्रेट डिवाइड ऑल राइट हियर इफ यू नोटिस द पॉपुलेशन फॉर द फर्स्ट टाइम हैड शोड अ डिप in the year 1921 and since then the population has been continuously increasing every 10 years okay now great divide 1921 it showed a dip because it was a time of droughts and famines so 1921 was a year of great divide when the population showed a dip and since then it has been constantly increasing the latest population policy was is of 2000 the draft was passed in 1999 it was adopted by the government on 15 feb 2000 so according to this it has immediate objectives like address the unmet needs for contraception develop a healthcare infrastructure to promote family planning medium term was to bring the tfr to replacement level by 2020 but it did not happen and long term objective this comes as a pyq this is actually a pyq that according to population policy when is india's population expected to stabilize so it's expected to stabilize by the year 